Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. <laughs> oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <coughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda, a patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. I got the jitters again. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Stupid, but it really works. That's a guy from the papers. Solve that big case. Phelps, leave him be. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant. We fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded. Shipped back home. Did a year on the beat. Now I'm here. Turn left up ahead. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No. You were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. You finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of LA safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. No, oh, fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Mm. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. Straight ahead. All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 suspect just left 6th. A 
Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Give it up now! Make it easy on yourself! Get the hell away from me! Now, are we going to make a bargain or what? Put the weapon down, now! Put your weapons down and your hands in the air! I'll do it! I swear to God I will! <laughs> On your own goddamn head, be it! All units of 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11K, go ahead, KGPL. 11K, a 459 suspect just left 6th and Saris. Suspect is a male Caucasian, believed to still be in the area. Code 2. Another 459. I hear that number. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful, I saw him waving a gun. Give it up now! Make it easy on yourself! Get the hell away from me! Jim. Come on, Flatfoot. Let's negotiate. How long do you think you can hold out? You want to back off right now. I'll do it. I swear to God I will. On your own goddamn head, be it. So 459 just occurred at 6th and Saris. Any unit to handle, code 2, identify. Take it easy, Phelps. I'd rather get there in one piece.
that you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Hmm. Happier times, I guess. Thirty-two years old, married, sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Brand name might give us something to go on. You guys, take your time. No freight rolling through here till we're done. And we're still punching the clock. Hey, Flatfoot, you looking to get rid of that old crate? I'll give you a nickel for it. <laughs> Victim. Looks to have lost a lot of blood. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Circumstantial.
Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly, so it kind of stood out. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. It looked dry already. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. You know the way. You can drive. All right. Where to? Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor...
poor Adrian. Does the name Insta Heat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Incidental. Junk. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, the occasions that made you laugh, the times that made you smile. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thanks, ma'am.
This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Optimistic call. No good to me. No use leaving the thing half finished. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. 
What gives here? This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Don't think this is anything. To my Adrian, this thing gets more and more interesting. You can drive. So, where do you want to go? I'm all right now. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, He's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual, then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about 7.
I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. You and your husband are in separate bedrooms. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? I did not. My husband and I may have drifted apart, but it, it wasn't my choice. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happy... He's too scared to divorce her and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type, but stranger things have happened. You're behind the wheel. You? No, you don't. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink for, for old time's sake? Looking for someone. That you know Jerry Frank Pye Morgan? Sure. Is. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. So Frank you Morgan? gonna see your married man He's again? Asking. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. 
tough break. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. I think you were in on it, Morgan. You drove down there, and you let Black have it. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. That the best you got? When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. Come on, Morgan. It was only last night. You must remember something. Look, we might have had a drink. We have a drink most nights after work. This doesn't add up, Morgan. And your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Check the place out. Come on. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? I told you it was nonstop glamour work in traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work on me. Apartment two. All right, let's pay our friend a visit, see if he's missed us yet. Who 
the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LAPD, give yourself up now. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. Mr. Black, get back here right now. It's over, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, and you can go a long way in this department.